absolute conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new robotic soccer by Hexbugs. Now, Hexbugs is a company we've seen before that also makes the tabletop size of BattleBots. Literally in that concept there, you can go ahead and fight against two robots, and this here is actually quite similar, but with a different twist, in which it includes soccer. Now, in this particular kit, you get a goal post, as well as a soccer ball and two cards. So you can go ahead and play against each other, which is actually a very fun idea. So seeing what this is about should be quite fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now, on the cover itself, it's actually quite interesting. You know, it does show like a soccer field. Uh, you got like a soccer ball here, and you see the two different uh, robots actually. It looks like they're kicking the ball into the goal. Uh, now it's rated for ages 8 and up, then it comes out with 25 pieces. And you can actually see the controller on the bottom right. Very typical of the hex bug style. Now, it's actually got a very nice casing, and on the back here, it talks about a little bit more in terms of details. Uh, so you actually got a nice image on the right-hand side of the uh, arena itself. And then on the left-hand side here, it talks about customization. Again, with the flags, you can go ahead and put them on top of there and give it more personality. And then assorted uh, pieces are literally, it's, a, it's very easy to go ahead and build. Just like the arena itself, you just go ahead and build around it. Uh, and then over here, it says how the box works. So it says maneuver using the infrared remote control. Hit the kick button to take your shot and watch the ball fly across the field. Magnetic pull allows your robotic athlete to maneuver like the pros. So it's going to be quite interesting to see with the whole magnetic pull idea to it. Uh, and then it says watch your robotic athlete score, aim, kick your ball, and score the winning goal. So you know the concept of it is very simple, it's literally soccer with two different robots. Uh, you got two different goal posts and yeah it's actually a very unique idea uh, especially if you like robots as well as soccer. So uh, with that being said uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's on the inside. Oh, that's really cool! Uh, so over here we see ourselves the uh, soccer field itself. Uh, as you kind of lift it up, we'll see the board kind of come out just like that. Now it's got a nice looking texture as you can see. As you can see the grass on it. It's got a very high gloss finish which is also really good as well. So this here's our robotic car. Uh, so it's actually got a very unique design to it. So it's got this almost like a flipper or a kicker uh, on the front here that actually kicks the ball. Now the way it works is uh, the remote itself is right over here. So it's these really small remotes, uh, very uh, typical of Hexbug. Uh, so you have the directional control and then on the top here you have the action button. In this case here it will actually retract it and then when you press it again it will kick it. Uh, and then you know literally it's actually got a very nice durable feel to it. Almost like a rubber compound as well. It's got this rubber guard on it as well. And now on the top part here this does come off. You can actually go ahead and swap it out among with all the other different uh, colors as well depending on whichever team you want it to be. So for instance I can change it to that and you know it just kind of gives you an idea how that works out. Now on the bottom here is our power button so we just go ahead and press that once and then we'll go ahead and turn the button on here as well. And then we'll just go ahead and hit up and then you'll see that it's now controlling the car or the robot. Uh, so in this case here if I press the action button you'll see that it will go ahead and wind back in and when I press again it will go ahead and kick. Uh, so that's how you go ahead and control the car in terms of how it works. So it's actually a very interesting design as well as a very simple concept. Now this here is the other player, so this is like an orange cart. Uh, same texture, same idea in terms of the way it looks. The only thing that really differs is the color itself. So this has like a blue base versus this has a white base uh, with an orange contrast. And again you can always go ahead and interchange it in terms of the pieces itself goes. So you get two remotes. And then we get these different pieces as well. So this here is a, a border piece. So this goes around the whole entire uh, arena itself. And literally they just go ahead and slide right into place, uh, which is really easy to use and very simple design. Now we get ourselves some interesting looking nets. And then this here is the net that you use in the game. Uh, so it does have a nice like transparent feel to it as well. Almost resembling a real net. So it's actually a really interesting concept in how they made that. Uh, definitely a really cool look. So look at that. Whoa! <laughs> so uh, yeah, with that being said, kind of gives you an idea of what it is. Uh, we got a nice looking arena, very nice color finish to it as well. And uh, then we have ourselves a soccer ball. So we get two of these little soccer balls here. They're about less than an inch in terms of radius goes. Uh, but they're actually a pretty uh, hollow feel to it as well. Uh, but you do get two, so keep that in mind as well. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and build this and have some fun. 
All right, so we're all set and ready to go. I got my arena all set, and then I got Mebo here ready to play. You ready, Mebo? Ready. All right, so Mebo, which color do you want to be? The blue one. All right, and I'll go and be the white one. Uh, pick your number. Eight. Eight. So we're gonna put that right there, and then I'll go ahead and be number four. All right, so we're ready to play. We're gonna play uh, first one to get five wins. All right, so I'll give you the ball first. There you go. All right, you ready? Ready. All right, let's play. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, one point. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and set it up again. All right, so since uh, you got the point there, I'll get the ball next. Ready? Ready. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so, so far it is tied, uh, and Mebo's got one, and I got one here, so let's get ready for another round. Let's go! So the controls on this are a little bit confusing, just because one rotates it, and you literally have to do one at a time. You can't do both at the same time, otherwise it'll just keep spinning in circles. Alright, I got the ball, I got the ball! No, 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 no! And, oh no, I missed it! This is actually a lot of fun. Okay, I got the ball again. Oh, she blocked it! <laughs> Good! <laughs> Let's go! Uh oh, uh oh, so she's got the ball in her hand. I might have to play goalie. Come on, Mabel, let's see what you got. Ah! Oh, Darn it. Um, so one thing I noticed, it's actually a more smart idea to go ahead and wind it up before you use it. So simply just go ahead and press the button down. And then you can just go ahead and fire it right away when you're ready. All right, you ready for another round? Ready. So far we're tied two and two. Let's go. Oh, the ball's in the corner. Oh, I'm pushing her. I feel like, oh no, I'm actually stuck. No, she came out. Well, no, I did go win, so. Ah, there we go. Go. Come on. The ball, the ball's right there at the goal. It's just, I think it's actually, oh, there we go, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah! You ready for another round? Go! No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, this is not a death battle, this is soccer. You take that off. I'm not the soccer ball. All right, so one thing I just noticed right now is that they're both magnetic, so they're actually sticking to each other right now. Okay, so you have to spin to get off each other. Okay, that makes sense. That's good. Go! Come on, it's stuck! Go! <laughs> All right, so we're down to the final wire. Winner takes all, four up. Okay, this is for all the marbles. Let's do this. No, no. Okay, 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 no, no, don't hurt me. She's legitly blocking me from getting the ball. Oh, she's got the ball, she's got the ball. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get it back from her. No, 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 no. No! Oh! Darn it. <laughs> it looks like Mebo won that round, and overall, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a very unique concept, especially if you had more than one car or two cars, I would say it'd actually be a lot more fun. Obviously, having like six cars at a time, probably too much, uh, but the concept of it, as well as the design, is actually a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a great spinoff. Now, if you guys had any questions about the robotic soccer by Hexbugs, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.